the apprenticeship program for uh, Crossrail is so very important for a large number of reasons. First of all, I think it's really important that we actually address the skill shortage that we have in the UK, and we have to do that. If you look across the construction industry, you'll always see um, an ageing workforce. And what we're trying to do is inject new energy into the workforce by encouraging young people to come into the sector. Some of those are business apprenticeships, some of those are specialist tunnelling apprenticeships, but whatever they are, young people now have an opportunity to pursue careers in construction in a way that they didn't have before. People enjoy working with young people. They enjoy passing on the things that they've learned. For me, it also has a, a significant contribution to maintaining a high morale amongst all of those who work on Crossrail. I started the apprenticeship in 2012 um, with BBMV. Uh, it was a two year long apprenticeship and up, so I've just finished in July 2014. I began my apprenticeship in 2012 and it was in general construction, so I learned how to brick lay, pipe lay, general groundworks and foundation. Before I started my apprenticeship, I just left school, sixth form, did my A-levels. A lot of people suggested that um, university might be a good option for me, but it didn't necessarily appeal. Before Crossrail, I worked um, as an estate agent in South East London. Um, I did that for almost two years um, and decided that I needed a change. I was what, 26, I thought if I'm going to make a change of career, I'd have to do it now. Found out about apprenticeships, went for a few interviews. Um, I was successful with BBMV and I landed to where I am today. And I thought that an apprenticeship would, rather than closing doors to me because I don't have a degree, it opens doors to me because I've got work experience, I've got a job and a company, and I've got the chance to say that I've been a part of this project. I came from an apprentice um, background, so I started at 16, so I'm much more into pushing the fact that they're gaining experience as well as gaining the qualifications at the same time. So they go off to college and learn things and then they come back to work and put that learning into practice on site. The people I work with gave me that opportunity to learn and experience what you know working on a construction site is like. My responsibilities have changed quite a lot because I've gained a huge amount of experience from day zero where I knew nothing to uh, this point, so I get a lot more responsibility and I'm trusted to do a lot more things. The key to us is that we actually nurture that over the 12 weeks that the Becker's on site, rather than just parking them away somewhere, we need to actually expose them to, to what they're going to be um, doing in the future. If you're looking to do an apprenticeship, I'd definitely recommend it. I think it's a great way to get you know, work-based experience and and support really, you get a lot of support from your company when you get taken on. One of my friends just started an apprenticeship which I convinced him to do and he's really enjoying it. People love apprentices, the people that we work with on a day to day basis because they all go, yay, someone to do my photocopying and then promptly never give you any photocopying to do because they want you to experience all the things that they've experienced and they give you all the best jobs, they want you to learn and develop and enjoy what you do on a day to day basis because they enjoy what they do. What excites me about the experience is where it can take me in the future as well, whether it continues in London, nationally or even internationally. It's a great industry to be in. I've been in the industry for 47 years. I've travelled around the country. Many people get the opportunity to travel around the world. There's always something new you can actually learn. They can move however far they wish to do, depending on the effort that they put in. I've got my foot in the door with a company and they've invested a lot in me and into my training. So if I express an interest in wanting to do something, then I know that they'll support me in that because otherwise this whole thing would have been a waste of their time as well. Without the youngsters, without developing the youngsters, it's not going to be an industry in 10 years. There's so much at the hands of the apprentice, him or herself, you know, that if they step up to the plate and, and grasp the opportunity, the, 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 the parent company will support them to the hilt. We've overachieved on our target of 400 and at the moment we have approximately 450 apprentices. Well we're just going to keep going, we're just going to keep going and get as many as we possibly can get. But what's more important is to make sure we offer good quality apprenticeship programmes for individuals. We've got lots of young people who can go on to the next great project, whether it's High Speed 2, whether it's Thames Water, whether it's London Underground. 
there are lots and lots of opportunities for people to go on and develop their skills. What I would say to anyone considering an apprenticeship is find the apprenticeship program that's right for you. There's a whole range of them out there. Think about how it can take your career in all different sorts of directions and think about the people that you will be working with. Great teams like the teams here on Crossrail.